it is generally available for any customer uh, that would like to use it. Um, it's also uh, designed to work out of the box and add pretty immediate value for customers um, uh, and also for obviously their survey recipients. Um, it's very easy to deploy. Um, there's not a lot of configuration. I'm going to walk you through what the actual configuration looks and, and feels like in just, uh, just a minute. Uh, and uh, there's also no additional cost for existing PECON customers. The PECON service itself is uh, a paid for license within uh, within Workday, but the, um, once you have uh, uh, purchased and deployed uh, PECON for your uh, for your organization, there's no additional cost to bringing that into, into Microsoft Teams. Um, so I'm going to talk you through a number of different parts of the PECON app. First, uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like to actually a number of the different notifications that you can uh, receive, including reminders, new survey notifications. And I'm going to also show you what it looks like to then respond to those surveys uh, right in line. So there is really, as an employee, there is really no need to leave uh, Microsoft Teams. You can be notified of survey rounds. You can get reminded of survey rounds that you haven't responded to yet, and you can also respond to the actual survey questions right in line. Um, once enabled and connected to the uh, Microsoft Teams app, um, the customer can then enable the survey notifications to flow into Teams uh, for all of their uh, all of their employees. And here is what that actually looks like for the recipient. So as an employee. Um, the beauty of the way the, the PECON app is designed, there is no uh, requirement for the employee to go and find the PECON app on uh, within the Teams App Store. The, um, the very first time there's a survey round sent out that includes that particular employee, the PECON app is going to appear within Teams uh, automatically for them. It'll have this welcome message that you see here at the top. Um, with a quick description of, hey, here's what the app is, here's what it does, um, a link to uh, a support document with more information, and then immediately after that, they will receive their first uh, survey notification. That includes a quick snippet of, hey, here's what the first question looks like, this is going to take you this many minutes to fill out, and you have until this day to complete it. Um, once um, the employee then clicks through and starts the survey. They uh, will see a new modal pop up with the survey questions. They can proceed through those questions and then they will see a uh, thank you message once the survey has been completed. If they do not respond to the survey, uh, the app will automatically send out a reminder when it's getting close to the due date to submit that survey uh, uh, to help kind of nudge them along the way and make sure that they're responding to that particular survey. This is the actual survey experience, so answering the survey questions. So as you can see, we've clicked that start survey button uh, from the notification, brings up this new modal um, with the intro screen for the survey. Um, the thing to understand about PECON is that customers can um, design uh, many different survey rounds about different topics to be delivered at different intervals. Uh, so some of those might be weekly, some of those might be quarterly or annually, and they might deal with very different questions and, and, and topics. Um, so as the employee, this is the notification that I'll get. Um, in this particular case, this is my weekly survey to provide feedback. Um, and I can quickly, uh, simply click start survey to get rolling. I can then proceed through all my survey questions. Most often those are kind of these ranked questions on a, on a scale of, of zero to 10. Um, I can also leave comments directly uh, on a particular question um, that my manager can um, can see or, or be notified about. And this is the survey completion. And that is the quick uh, the, the quick overview of the, the feature functionality. I have a rolling demo here, uh, and this is an example of a quick um, quick video that we can. Uh, this is the administrative side of the PECOM platform. Uh, I'm currently logged in as a manager, so this is a quick preview of some of the engagement scores and participation stats and uh, different priorities um, and, 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 and metrics that I can see within the PECOM platform. And so I think the first thing we'll look at is just quickly the administration and configuring um, a survey round to be delivered in Microsoft Teams. 
so this is a demo environment. Normally these schedules would con you know, consist of many different survey types and, and, and schedules. Um, but here you can see there is a, um, a survey scheduled. I'm actually going to create a new schedule for a survey. I can kind of um, target that to specific business units within the organization or even specific regions or specific offices. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility in how you kind of slice and dice the audience. Um, once I have my audience selected, I can go and uh, create my survey rounds and also schedule when those might start and how long those might run. And then I can go ahead and execute and, and send out that survey. And then I can see I've created this round to, uh, in this case, 10 employees, and I can also send or schedule uh, a reminder uh, for that particular survey. So all very, um, very lightweight, as you can see, um, and something that PECON uh, administrators are very used to, to working with and, and configuring. Switching to the uh, end user experience here, in Teams, so as you've noticed, there was nothing I needed to do as an as an employee, as a recipient. Um, the card appeared, the app appeared for me in Teams. I get that welcome message that I was showing you earlier, and I can immediately jump into my first uh, my first weekly survey round. And then from the notification, I can the same workflow, but not the initial survey. This is for the for the reminder. And then from either that initial survey a notification or from the reminder, I can proceed and actually jump into that survey to go and complete the, uh, the answers. So as I make my way through that survey, this is a very short demo survey with just two questions. I can go and submit that and I get the confirmation and the, the completion message. And that's me done for that weekly survey. So as you can see, for the employees, very lightweight, it's very easy. They're used to getting email notifications around these surveys and having to complete those within the browser. And now um, for a customer that chooses to roll out the, uh, the Teams app, all of a sudden, um, those notifications and surveys start magically appearing uh, within Teams. Uh, there's no longer any need to kind of we have uh, existing customers that have since chosen to completely disable the email notification side of this and just have all of the, the notification and survey responses uh, flow through teams. 